In terms of visual fidelity and prowess on consoles, this generation has belonged to the PlayStation 5. From exclusives to cross-gen titles, the sheer range is amazing and it's only been two years since the console launched. Let's take a look at 15 titles on the console that offer some stunning visuals. Horizon Forbidden West Horizon Zero Dawn was already an insane visual benchmark for Guerrilla Games. What with its expansive environments, draw distance, detailed character models, vegetation, effects, you name it. That Forbidden West could look so much better is insane, but that's not all. It also improves the presentation, with the dialogue exchanges having more intricate animations and expressions. Doing all this and maintaining great performance, whether you're playing at 4K 30 frames per second or 1440 60 frames per second, is even more incredible. God of War Ragnarok what more can you say about God of War Ragnarok? Everything has been enhanced and expanded from the original, which extends to the visuals. Improved facial animations, character models, and environments are a given, but it's also great to see superior textures, effects, and atmospherics over the original. The aesthetic is similarly great, sticking closely to its Norse mythology inspiration while lending a grounded feel to the proceedings. Stray who would have thought that one of this year's most popular games would star a cat? Even if no one knew how the gameplay would be, the visuals and art direction of Blue 12's Stray made an impression long before release. Gorgeous lighting and shadows, a post-apocalyptic sci-fi vibe, and meticulously detailed droids are just a few reasons to embark on this adventure. Of course, it also doesn't hurt that the protagonist is adorably rendered. Demon Souls Bluepoint Games has been praised for its work on Shadow of the Colossus and Eco, but its remake of Demon's Souls is on another level entirely. While maintaining the same gameplay basis, everything has been overhauled, from the lighting and shadows to the textures and environments. Even with near instant loading times, it's impressive how the developer retained the dark, brooding atmosphere of the original. Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade it's incredible how much Square Enix got out of the PS4 with Final Fantasy VII Remake. It was a shame then to deal with low-resolution textures that sometimes popped up. With Intergrade, the developer implemented 60 frames per second and 4K 30 modes while adding new effects, volumetric fog, bloom effects, and lighting, and polishing the problematic textures. The result is a current-gen RPG that encapsulates the magic of Final Fantasy. The Last of Us Part 1 for all the talk of being a cash grab and not having many gameplay changes, there's no denying the amount of work on The Last of Us Part 1. Animations are improved, character models have been redone and are a significant step up, environments are brimming with tons of new details, whether it's increased vegetation or completely revamped rooms, and it all runs incredibly smooth. It may not be the most drastic remake ever, but it's still one of the best looking, especially on PS5. Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales is more or less akin to its predecessors in art direction, performance, assets, and whatnot. It still looks incredible on PS5, whether you're playing in native 4K and admiring the textures on Miles' clothing and spider suits, or the detailed snowfall when swinging through the city. The implementation of ray tracing is also top-notch. With several graphics modes for all players, and it showcased the PS5's power with incredible texture streaming and near instant load times. Marvel Spider Man Remastered Despite not being available to purchase separately on PS5, Marvel Spider Man Remastered is still a very good looking remaster. Improved facial animations, regardless of how you feel about Peter Parker's face change, ray tracing, better texture quality, and more ensured, a smooth transition onto current gen. Having better reflections and various graphical options is also a plus. Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut there is so much to appreciate about Ghost of Tsushima's visual style, the roaming plains and fields, the far-off smoke and chaos, accompanying the ongoing invasion, the attention to detail in each location, it's all simply incredible. It looks even better on PS5. With the director's cut providing dynamic 4K 60 frames per second gameplay, even if the enhancements aren't as extensive as the various remasters on this list, it's still one of the best looking open world games in this generation. Gran Turismo 7 If Polyphony Digital has proven anything throughout the decades, it can consistently create some of the best-looking racing sims. 
Gran Turismo 7 sports per-pixel motion blur, dynamic weather and day-night cycles, improved reflections and ray tracing, restricted to replays and when viewing vehicles, sadly. The cars are phenomenally detailed, and the lighting and shadows make it all come alive in stellar fashion. Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection when Uncharted 4 A Thief's End and Uncharted The Lost Legacy were released, they were, and still are, in the upper echelon of visually astounding titles for their generation. Nevertheless, Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection builds on that further, with sharper image quality and modes for 4K 30, 1440 60, and 1080p 120 frames per second. If you've yet to experience either title and have a PS5, like everyone else, the Legacy of Thieves Collection is the best way to dive in. Returnal. Particles. That could more or less have defined Returnal in a nutshell, but Housemark went even further. Some environments and enemies channel H.R. Geiger's biomechanical art style, others opt more for a surreal cosmic horror, and it's all gorgeously rendered with 1080p upscaled to 1440p and then running in a checkerboard 4K resolution, which still looks very sharp. There are drops to 50 or so frames per second, but only when the screen is a mess of projectiles, and it thankfully doesn't detract from the experience. Death Stranding Director's Cut As with many games on this list, Death Stranding was already gorgeous on the PS4. The combination of stellar animations and character design, gorgeously captured environments with lush greenery, snow, and atmosphere helped it stand out. The director's cut adds two modes for PS5, native 4K with a variable 60 frames per second for quality and scalable 4K at 60 frames per second for performance, and as you might have guessed, this is the best way to experience the game, at least on consoles. Kena Bridge of Spirits Instead of outright realism, Kena Bridge of Spirits offers a visual design more akin to an animated feature film. As a result, everything feels just right, from the texture quality and vegetation to the effects, atmospherics, and environments, whether traversing the forest or returning to the village and conversing with spirits, with the cutscenes being fantastic, seeing the rot running around in battle and their little unique animations add that much more flair to the experience. Ghostwire Tokyo Tango Gameworks' first-person action title focuses on a specific setting and aesthetic, Tokyo amid supernatural phenomena and near-endless rain. For its mood, it works, for the most part, providing ample opportunity to showcase the incredible ray-traced reflections and shadows, more the former than the latter. In terms of deftly creating the city and offering some nice effects, it warrants a mention, and it's one of the few titles on PS5 to have 10 different options when choosing quality and performance modes, combined with high frame rate options. That's all for now. If you enjoy what you saw, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, now is a great time to subscribe. We upload brand new videos every single day. After subscribing, don't forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time, right here on Gaming Bolt.